Hello. Today I'm here to talk about a franchise that 40 years ago uh, began. Uh, you know, the first film came out 40 years ago, and it's a very iconic franchise, one that uh, is beloved by many around the world. Um, and that is, of course, the Indiana Jones franchise. Um, this is the uh, original trilogy with uh, bonus material disc, as well as the uh, two-disc uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull uh, film. Um, I do not have the Blu-ray uh, set. I know it's on uh, 4K Blu-ray now, but... I don't recall seeing anything that's really spectacular or uh, all brand new aside from the, of course, 4K discs. So I might just pick up the uh, uh, Blu-ray sometime, you know. It's been out for years now and I've meant to uh, get it, uh, the Blu-ray set, for quite some time, but... You know, it's one of those things, you uh, you know, you plan to get it, but you just, you know, other things happen, you know, there's more essential things, of course, that, you know, requires getting, and then, of course, you know, when you do have time to get fun stuff, like, for me, buying movies, you know, it's always like, you know, whether you should, uh, um, you know, there's always a thought of, always like new stuff coming out that I won't, would like to get so, and I try to get the, the new stuff as it comes out especially if there's certain special limited th uh, editions of things you know I want to get that or those things as much as, as fast as I possibly can within reason but then of course you know there's also other older stuff such as <laughs> blu-ray set of the Indiana Jones that sometimes I am able to get uh, at some point. But then, of course, you know, I keep putting it off for really no reason. Um, but I do have the DVDs, and they're great. Um, I guess I should probably just talk about my experience with these films. Because um, when it comes to Indiana Jones, what I've noticed, you know, I mean, this could be apply to really any franchise a lot of people really enjoy these movies when they're quite young and I was the young when I first saw these films um, probably around 8 or so um, this was something I saw a little later uh, compared to like Star Wars or Batman or you know some of the other franchises I've discussed or talked about getting into um, so this was a little later, but still uh, quite young, of course. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, a big reason I saw this is because, you know, you know, created by uh, George Lucas, who, of course, made Star Wars. Um, you know, the character is created by George Lucas, uh, who helped him with the uh, story credit. I cannot recall offhand. Um, Philip Kaufman. And Lawrence Kasdan then wrote uh, the, the screenplay, basically, uh, of what Lucas and Kaufman wrote for the overall story outline. Because yeah, Indiana Jones it was it was really solely created by George Lucas in terms of the character of what the character would be and all that archaeologist and whatnot finding treasures. And then cough and helped him flesh out the story he had with Indiana Jones. And um, in a lot of ways, you know, Indiana Jones is sort of like Star Wars in the sense that both were fairly influential of uh, Saturday matinee serials. Um, of course, you know, Buck Rogers, Flash Gordon for Star Wars. You know, and of course also like the Kira Kurosawa films as well as um, uh, 
Oh, yeah. Uh, the uh, Hero of a Thousand Faces, a uh, book by Joseph Campbell. And Star and Indiana Jones was basically just influenced really by so many of those other serials that George Lucas loved growing up. Uh, you saw on TV, they would rerun stuff like, aside from Buck Rogers and Flash Gordon, they would all have various other, you know, serials of action adventure stuff. So, um, and Spielberg uh, himself also um, would watch. Uh, things of that nature, so both of them were very on the same wavelength. Of course, Spielberg and Lucas are great friends, have been for years, and so, um, you know, these four films are all directed by Spielberg and, like, written and produced by George Lucas. George Lucas uh, does have quite a bit of influence on all these films, regardless of, um, uh, the direction of Spielberg. I mean, it has Spielberg's stamp on it, of course, but, you know, Lucas's influence is there. Um, when it comes to George Lucas and his influence on various films, you know, people like, you know, Star Wars is George Lucas, but people seem to think Indiana Jones is mostly Spielberg, with some George Lucas involvement and influence, um, when that's not really the case, exactly. Um, you know, it is very much a good collaboration of the two for these films. Um, uh, of course, Raiders of the Lost Ark, 40 years old. Um, great film, you know, um, I really love it. Uh, of all these, I think that's the best of them all. Um, and it's one of those things where it, I think it is true where, uh, you know, the first film is truly the best. I don't think any subsequent follow-up uh, has been better than the and then Raiders. Um, Temple of Doom is a fine film. is a prequel. Um, you know, chronologically it comes before Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, but you know, it's a prequel. It's a very fine film. It's, you know, it's good. Um, but um, you know, there it was quite dark and. You know, and that's not, a, of course, not a bad thing, but, you know, because of the darkness in it, as well as also Gremlins in, you know, this year, 84, uh, parents were upset and they, um, and, and the ratings had invented PG-13 because of, uh, uh, Temple of Doom. Then, of course, was Raiders of the Lost Ark at the end of the 80s, 89, and, um, you know, that was a big success also. All these films really were big successes. Um, and, you know, of course, for the longest time, that was the final film, and there was not going to be another one. Um, um, but, you know, uh, there's a lot of B-movie tropes and elements in these films, aside from just the, of course, the, uh, Adventure serials, um, influence, you know, I guess you could say some of those influences had some B-movie tropes, but that adds to a charm, you know, of, uh, within them, you know, especially with these, these films, um, you know, all of them have over-the-top stuff happening, happens like, spoiler, faces being melted off by goes from the Ark of the Covenant, um, people getting their hearts ripped out of their chests in the Temple of Doom, as well as also, you know, the, the whole falling out of the sky and surviving with the, uh, uh, raft, as well as the uh, night has been there for, like, you know, so many, you know, like over a thousand years, or so. Uh, guarding the Holy Grail and um, all these things going on as well as also religious elements and stuff of course you know with artifacts and you know uh, and things like that that are interweaved within these films um, and I mentioned those sort of uh, over the top stuff because you know I don't think uh, King of the Crystal Skull is a bad film um 
it fits with those uh, uh, three film previous films quite well. You know, it does have over the top moments, like as people say, you know, you know, nuke the fridge. You know, he survives a nuclear blast by being in a refrigerator. Um, I mean, if if we see in these films people getting their faces melted off and people get their hearts ripped out of their chest as well as uh, 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 knights that are like over uh, like, like over hundreds of years old like, like a, a thousand or so guarding the holy grail and all that you know people are able to accept all of that with a suspension of disbelief but when it comes to in the 50s and also the whole thing with the aliens and stuff but also the aliens sort of represent this religious aspect that these films have had and that you know in that uh, as uh, Mutt even says in the fourth film uh, like you know, looking at all the stuff on the wall and everything we were gonna go and get over I can see a whole bunch of this uh, ancient relics and stuff like how and these drawings and stuff on the walls it's like uh, it's like that's like God like oh God doesn't look like that he says depends on who your God is you know to these to the people of or the bulk of uh, you know the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull um, takes place, you know, to them, that is their, their god. Um, don't have to, you know, agree with that, but that is that is their god. And also with the whole alien stuff, it's also the 50s. Something that was big in the 50s, of course, was science fiction films, like War of the Worlds and Day the Earth Stood Still and all these things, and I think the fourth film really is also a reflection of the times, uh, as well as keeping up with other tropes. But then, of course, it's like, oh, well, they don't have to be, like, aliens, of course, is something that also was a thing, with, like, with these, they're like, they're like interdimensional beings. And, um, one thing with the fourth film, Harrison Ford wanted to do another film, and George Lucas thought that'd be kind of fun to do. But Spielberg kind of was like, yeah, I don't know. I was kind of like, not sure about that. You know, Last Crusade did a very good job of ending the franchise. Um, and there have been others, people who thought, you know, we could do a fourth movie. There's this and that. Frank Darabont apparently had an idea. But of course, Spielberg and Lucas have to be in agreement on something. For Indiana Jones, and if they are in agreement goes forward if not doesn't happen um and so things like that had come and gone um thinking of the crystal skull um you know it's not my favorite i don't think it of course it's i don't see it as the best raiders of the lost ark is the best in my opinion but um i do think this film uh fits with these films these three um uh but, you know, I could uh, one day talk about all of these films individually. And, um, yeah, I might be able to give my thoughts on why this fits with these films quite well. As well as my overall thoughts on, you know, these three films. You know, uh, Sean Connery, rest in peace. Did a great job. Uh... In these films, um, in this film, uh, Temple of Doom, um, yeah, and then of course, yeah, there's the bonus disc, which the bonus discs for this, as well as the Star Wars trilogy, are, at, are truly excellent. Um, um, I know there's a fifth Indiana Jones film in the works, um know about that honestly um 
people aren't a whole really excited for it. You know, uh, I, as time goes on, this film seems to get a bit more and more. Uh, I don't know if love is exactly the right word, but appreciation at the very least, I think people can agree on. People seem to appreciate this film a bit more as time goes on, and like how it does actually have tropes that are uh, seen in the previous films. Um, again, I don't think this is the best of the franchise, but it isn't as bad as people say it is. Um, people often say this and Temple of Doom are like the black sheep of the f franchises, or of the franchise. Um, and maybe that is true to an extent, but I think that um, regardless, this is an excellent film. I think, you know, the Temple of Doom is also, though I think the Temple of Doom may be my least favorite. Uh, I, mean, I rewatched these films not too long ago, and I believe that's my thought, but who knows? Uh, sometimes my thoughts on that film kind of differ here and there. Sometimes I really enjoy it, sometimes I guess I wasn't really in the mood, and so because of that, when I watched it, I just was kind of like, hmm. Or maybe I thought I was in the mood, but once I watched it and it's over, I really wasn't in the mood, I guess. So it wasn't the best film for me to watch at that time. But I enjoy it. I enjoy this film. I enjoy all four of these films. Yeah. And even though I'm not that excited for the uh, fifth film, you know, does not have George Lucas involved. Then again, of course, he wasn't really involved. He wasn't uh, involved at all in the disney made star wars films or at least under disney i guess i should say what uh you know um while he was involved initially at some point they all you know uh parted ways as they weren't going to go through with his ideas and his outlines so he just left and had no involvement beyond initial talks and discussions of trying to get the script uh, 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 on the right track uh, for Seven, as well as the other films in the trilogy. Um, and so while there has been talks of a fifth film for quite some time of Indiana Jones, the fact that that's coming along now and people are like people don't really want to watch an 80 some year old uh, Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones I know he's not 80 but he'll be about that when the film comes out so around about he'll be like 80 years old and like if four was I guess pushing it to for some people in, the, in terms of the believability of him still being able to you know Indiana Jones and hold his own and whatnot, um, and perhaps so, but he had a fine job in the film. Um, um, one thing uh, that's a, at least a positive is, you know, Harrison Ford really enjoys the role of uh, Indiana Jones. Um, while he does say he does enjoy, he does like Han Solo. Because, you know, no doubt, to an extent, um, that obviously helped revive his film career because for a while he just stopped making movies because he wasn't going anywhere. You know, he wasn't getting the parts he wanted, and so, you know, that was like, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, he wasn't making it as a star, and so he's like, just give up. But then he uh, got to view Star Wars and well, it boosted his career and everything. At the same time, it, part of him kind of seemed to at least uh, resented to the point of like you know so many people just associate him with Star Wars only, and it's like you know did Indiana Jones, and then later like films like Witness, which got him an Academy Award nomination, and he did so many other films. You know, he's like he did other things, you know, not just Star Wars, you know, Blade Runner also, after Star Wars, um, but, you know, Indiana Jones is a character he really likes to play, and it's 
really cool to see him play something he really likes playing. Um, though, of course, throughout the Star Wars trilogy, he enjoyed, you know, uh, he gave his all and enjoyed uh, being there and everything, of course. But, you know, he seems to really enjoy this role. And so it's nice to see that sometimes Harrison Ford can appear to be grumpy or grouchy or whatever or both. Um, so when he's playing a part he really likes, it's nice to see it. Um, but yeah, um, that's really all I have to say. Um, I really enjoy this franchise. I know I talked about Star Wars quite a bit here and there, but, you know, Star Wars, you know, the, the, this idea of Indiana Jones was uh, conceptualized by George Lucas at the same time he was really thinking about doing Star Wars. And then he made a choice to either do Star Wars or Indiana Jones, and he chose Star Wars to do. Um, but it would be interesting of what would have happened if he did Indiana Jones instead of Star Wars, like history knows, whether, you know, um, what that would have been. I'm sure Star Wars would have happened at some point, um, but whether George Lucas would have helmed the director's chair for the first film or not, who knows? Um, and uh, yeah, this uh, yeah, these films are all excellent. Um, I enjoy rewatching them every so often, and. Um, they're fun films. Great uh, throwbacks to the uh, action-adventure serials. Some will, I guess, B-movie tropes here and there. Um, but done for fun. And uh, you can tell uh, Lucas, Spielberg, and Ford all enjoyed uh, uh, making these films. And also, of course, John Williams was uh, there for the doing the score and uh, you know and the score is excellent um, but then again we can just I think we can just agree on that with John Williams's music anyway um, yeah this uh, this franchise is excellent I really enjoy uh, re-watching them every so often and I thought 40th anniversary, might as well say something while it's still in this uh, year. I will say also, um, for the remainder of this year, I'm going to probably just talk about stuff anniversary-wise and other things. So any brand new movie I will see in theaters this year, I'm going to hold off until probably like next year or so to talk about that just in advance. So if there's a film out that uh, either a sequel or part of a franchise or just a film that, you know, it would seem like I would talk about it and I haven't. Well, just know that I, I probably will, but it would be like next year. Um, Friday the 13th, as I've mentioned before, really dominated uh, the summer. And I didn't really exactly intend to... Uh, do that franchise, like talk about it as, as I did, but I'm happy I did because there's a lot of movies in that franchise. I think if I ever do that again, I'll probably double up. Like, uh, like, like a uh, every week will be like at least two videos in a given week. That way, I can get through a certain franchise as fast as I can, while also at the same time doing it the best way I can in terms of being as thorough as I want and feel like I should give to a certain franchise I enjoy. Um, of course, a franchise like this would not take long. Like within a month or so, I could obviously get through all this. Four weeks, you know, it's like usually a month time. So, yeah, I could do this franchise maybe next year in terms of individual stuff. 
And I have some ideas of what I want to do next year also. Really primarily one, but I'll get to that later. All right. Um, I just wanted to add that for the end of the video. But, yeah. Um, any, vi uh, any films that can't have come out within, like, October, the rest of the year, so on. I'm not really going to talk about those because, well, I want to talk about other things and, yeah. Talked about a bunch of stuff per previously and, you know, I want to make sure I get through all the ones I, I really intend to uh, get to this year. Um, December I do have some, uh, a certain franchise, so be prepared for that. Um. Yeah. Anyway, this is the 40th anniversary of uh, Indiana Jones. At least my overall thoughts on the franchise. Yeah. I enjoy it. It's always fun to look back on. And, uh, yeah. Apologies for the rambling towards the end, but I hope uh, if, you're, if you watch my stuff for a while, you'll understand and you'll hopefully be patient for some of these films that have come out not that long ago so until next time have a great day have a great weekend and a great week